Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video. But before I get started with the subject of this video, I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks is a company that provides upgrade decals for modern Transformer figures along with reproduction decals for the vintage ones. While visiting Toy Hacks, make sure and check out the Toy Hacks Armory to see their line of Transformers weaponry in multiple colors and toy stages for awesome display backdrops. Each purchase from Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that you can use for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors, so make sure and check out ToyHacks.com and tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. And this is going to be a quick one because I have just got to show you guys this awesome KO Megatron that I picked up at TFCon. I believe it was Saturday night down in the hotel lobby. Some guests were bringing down totes of Transformers to sell. And it was actually a channel member from my channel, Rico Redstar, had a box of Transformers. And he's like, hey, any Transformer in here, $10. So I'm looking through the box and I see this guy, and I'm like, what is this? And he says, oh, I think it's a KO version of a Cyberverse Megatron. So I picked him up, and my first thought was, wow, this guy is heavy. So upon closer inspection, this whole section right here, this whole chest area is die-cast metal. And man, you don't see that much anymore, and this guy just looks awesome. Now, after I got him home and I took him out and looked at him a little bit more, I don't think he's as much of a KO of a Cyberverse Megatron, but he reminds me more of this Dollar General Megatron that is actually kind of a piece of crap compared to this one right here. I mean, this guy is sweet. Great head sculpt, great paint applications. I love the rivets there on the helmet, the painted eyes. He has a white face, which actually goes really good against all that chrome. I mean, look how he catches the light. This guy is awesome. Very unique and weird looking Decepticon logo right there. You just know he's going to get a Toy Hex decal. I mean, he just looks really good. I do wish that his cannon right here had that same silver paint as the rest of the figure. It's kind of dull, you know, compared to the rest of the bot but it is what it is i mean this guy just looks great lots of details and really really impressive now articulation for the figure the head is not on a ball joint but it can do a complete 360 the arms can go up down there is an elbow bend and elbow rotation but it is really really tight and it makes me a little nervous with the joints because it's a clip, and if you're any familiar with G1 Transformers and clip joints, they, they usually break, so not a big fan of those. There is no wrist rotation. Now, the Fusion Cannon here, I do like that it can flip over, so it looks like he's holding it as a gun. That's pretty slick, and of course, it rotates there. It could also spin around. It's on a ball joint. No waist rotation. The legs can go full. Oh, I did not even notice that. Ratchets. I've had this guy for three days. I guess I've never moved the legs forward. You can't go wrong with ratchets. So you got ratchets right there. Legs can go up and in. There is a knee bend, and that's on a soft ratchet. And there's really, there's ankle tilt, but it kind of, you have to bring down this part of the leg too. So it's kind of there. So yeah, this guy is slick. I really like him. So now let's take a look at him in tank mode and to transform him it's really simple. You're going to separate the shoulders here 
And this actually is going to make the chest pop out and away from the main body. Now what you want to do is bring this cannon down and then rotate this around. See, really tight joints. And you've got this hole right there. You want to line up. There's a peg here. So get everything lined up just right because, let me see, you're bringing this up and around and this, there we go, because what you want to do is there's a peg re right there on the cannon that's going to peg into his hand here. And then you're going to tab this together here. So there you have the turret. And now for the legs, you just split the legs apart, fold the feet in or the foot in rather. So you've got this going on and then just collapse these onto themselves. Let's see, you gotta make sure the little chest area is lifted up. You're gonna bring the legs around the head and peg those together and peg it together here on the front. And there you have Megatron in tank mode. And that is a really cool looking tank very futuristic i like the prongs right there on the front lots of great molded details of course the tracks don't move there are wheels underneath and he actually he rolls pretty good once again he's got a dull turret compared to the great paint applications here on the body but it is what it is and plus you can see his fists I do not like how the gun or the turret looks here up top with that big open space. But still, for 10 bucks, I'm not going to complain at all. I am really happy with this figure. And of course, the turret can rotate. It does get a little stuck in places, but it can do a complete 360. So there you go. There is the KO Megatron from something <laughs> and now for some quick size comparisons here is the ko metal chest megatron with generation one megatron dollar general megatron kingdom core class megatron and siege megatron I couldn't be happier with this KO Metal Chest Megatron. I just absolutely love this figure. Such a awesome bot that was part of a random find. Big shout out to Rico Redstar for selling me this guy. I've never seen this thing before. I've never heard of this thing before. But man, I am so glad to have it in my collection. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, big shout out to all my current channel members because it's support like yours that keep this channel growing. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hooah!